Welcome back, attractive and well-educated watchers. Last time we left off, we messed up using King real bad. Uh, yeah, we failed at that one because we we failed to notice that it tier one items lower your hit points rather than tier one weapons. So, yeah, this guy's particularly rough. Uh, shop always sells at least one weapon. All of your weapons are destroyed. When you know we haven't done the arms dealer in a long time. So. We think that's what we're gonna do now. He starts with the pistol. That's it. Nothing else. Just because he's uh, your friendly neighborhood arms dealer. Uh, 80? Right, because he's got a very high harvesting. Um... We're gonna give him attack speed, and we're gonna get some engineering, because those things stay behind. That one, because that actually, like, does a thing. That thing does a thing. You know, things that stay forever. Uh Let's do that. All right. So we suppose this one's whole thing is just gathering up items because weapons are functionally free most of the time anyway. So, our whole... And we'll always have items. Yeah, so our whole thing is just... Is just collecting. Get that engineering, that's probably gonna be... The best thing for what we're looking here. And... Alright, yeah, that's fine. We can take these four. Uh, so now we have... An adorable little elephant. We pick things up farther, which is good. We've got some healing, which is also important. We imagine ranged and melee damage probably aren't as meaningful here as things like luck and engineering. Uh, for the sole purpose that, you know, engineering involves things that you get to keep. Alright. 122. That's really nice. Uh, of course, we'll take that. Uh, let's get our ma higher max HP. Let's get higher attack speed, because that always helps. Don't know if that's going to be meaningful at any point, but we'll take it. Scepter. Alright. Fist. And let's get some luck. And let's hold that in place. And get another fist. And uh, yeah, that'll be good for later. That scared sausage will be excellent for later. All right. Yup, yup. We're trying to kill a lot of guys with our. Uh, with our little axe here, because that's permanent. Yeah, right there, we just got a little extra damage. So yeah, now we're on a, on a plus damage. Let's get our engineering. Let's grab that scared sausage. Got another little baby elephant. Another pistol. Let's get ourselves on the level for that. So we'll do three extra damage, 25% of the time. Start healing here pretty fast, so it doesn't really matter. All right. 
Yeah, it seems like our intuition on this was right. It seems like this this particular build is mostly about collecting items, and you just use whatever weapons you got on hand. Which is like, okay, we can dig it. We respect that kind of gig. Alright. Excellent wave 5. We'll take that higher attack speed. We'll take that higher engineering. Get that cute monkey. Uh... Couple of those. Grab a snack. Grab a tree. Oh. Lock that tree in place for next level. It's gonna be rough. Because we're very much not on the correct uh, amount of things per level. But we we just kinda got we got a feeling. I don't know, we got a feeling about this, guys. Trust us. Especially with all this fire we're rolling around with. And that baby elephant, it's starting to it's starting to grow up. Oh, God. That was a little dicey there at the end. Uh no, we like our range right now. In fact, we like our range a lot. Okay, yeah, we'll roll with that one. Got us a hatchet and another torch. Another bunny. Hold you in place. Or later. Pocket Factory would be great with this guy. Yeah, okay, now we're we're strapped for this level. Hatchet attack! And we swing really fast. We gotta get some luck here pretty soon. This particular loadout is really built on our, uh, on our strengths here with the snack. We got two snacks. Okay. One pot ask and ye shall receive. Ugh. Another snack. Get that potato thrower. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Uh, let's see what our... It only does two damage. Oh, the little thing. That's fine. It'll get stronger in time. Yeah, we're really not leveled high enough. Uh, our, our guns aren't leveled high enough for this, but... We'll probably do it just fine, because this particular level is semi-easy, and we're doing a, a fairly wild amount of extra damage off and on, and we have a, a very high attack rate right now, so we're doing a lot of fire even if we don't do terribly much fire all at once, especially considering that we have at least two snacks. And that makes the spread pretty intense. Just die already, buddy. Just die already. Come on, please, please, please just die. Please just die, 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 die. Oh, come on. Okay, we'll take a speed thing. Okay, let's hit that elemental. Ooh. We're taking that spicy sauce. Y'all can't stop us. It's not back. Oof. 
We are very in dan- Ha ha ha! We're in danger! Please help! Please help, Fire Thing! Oh god, no! We're not fast enough for this! Please don't let them kill us, Fire Thing! No! Okay! Let's try that again. We've learned our lesson. <laughs> We've learned a lesson. <laughs> Hypothetically. Give us the tree, damn it. That's what we thought. All right, no. Yes. Yes. More tree, hatchet and stick, uh, baby gecko, health regeneration, slingshot. A little bit of life steal. Let's get a shotgun just to keep our enemies at bay. Oh, it's level two, right, so. Wouldn't have even needed that. Okay. Nice. Uh, let's do... Engineering. We can dig that. Uh, all right, let's lock that baby elephant in place. All right, we get to steal health from people now. Just get us to this next tree. Yeah, okay. 93. Uh, let's get that baby elephant. Rock a screwdriver. Get that ethereal axe. Another axe shall do. And another axe shall do. This, hypothetically, can give us a little bit of extra damage. Oof. This should, hypothetically, get us at least a couple extra percent at our damage. Yup, there we go. Because all the damage we're doing is via these things. Okay, okay. We got a little extra damage. Okay, good. Uh, okay. Let's do it. Congratulations, little buddy. You are on the green. Uh... Yeah. Let's lock that in place for next time. Okay. Yeah, good. We are we are spacked. Yeah, as we were saying earlier, it does look like our idea about this guy was right. It's really all about 
all about collecting big big ticket items and then just take whatever weapon you got on hand you'll always have one that's his thing All right, all right. Nice, good. Let's get you with the damage up. All right. Gonna take that cyber ball. Oh, this one's gonna be good. Alright, this should give us something hypothetically potent for this level, and it'll start beefing up our speed, attack speed, among other things. What's it, uh, attack speed and max HP. Once again, we could really use a pocket factory for this, so let's just hope it it comes to us in a in a package. Uh, okay, all right, yeah, we got some attack speed up. Uh, yeah, let's take that luck. Let's take that HP regeneration. Can you get out of our face? Yee, okay. Because we have spicy sauce? Okay, we don't have spicy sauce on this one, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Mm. Get stick. Yeah. Okay, we'll be good. We'll be good with a couple of sticks, a couple of cactus clubs, and uh, a thing. Cactus clubs are actually pretty cool. Yep, right about now is where we start wanting a uh, pocket factory. Let's see if we'll get our wish. in this whole area. Okay. Big alien tongue. Eh, we'll take it, but really just to offset. On this one, however, we'll up that damage so it doesn't matter what we get. Steel. It's for wave aid. So we're gonna need some actual firepower. And then we'll lock that baby elephant in place. Alright, alright. This should be pretty good because we're ruling such a, a high general damage. Plus 34% to everything. How many trees we got? Two. It's better than none. Alright. Yeah, that was worth it. Yup, yeah, just tear you up. Uh, okay, nothing. 
Well, we survived the life eight and we got two items. We don't need that. We will take that. And we're gonna grab that extra luck for our second little elephant. Look at his silly face. All right. Definitely taking that one. Uh, all right, all right. Uh, gonna be a little rough, but we have two turrets. So, and those turrets do a fair amount. You know, because we got, uh, things. And then we got our little buddies that do the most damage. We're going fairly physical here. Yup. Yup, this is good. We have the power of the feast. That down. Yeah, having the wrenches is good because it's not just a, a fight item. It's also like... Give us the goodies that you hold within, you fool. It's also a gun on the field. Just a plain and simple, regular old, beat you, a shoot you in the face gun. Uh... Yeah, sure, why not? Just to keep from offsets. Uh... Ooh, mm. Nah. And that, we're not enjoying dodge right now, so let's get some of that. Let's get some of that. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. You give health, right? Yeah, they give health, so that, that's just gonna get us chonky. Take a rock there, more tree, extra bunny, Tyler a little guy, um, should we? Yeah, totally, let's do it. Come on, buddy. Yeah, carry us here, yeah! Yeah, buddy! Yeah, buddy! We are on the green! This is just gonna make us more powerful and, uh, have more hit points than before. Because of the, uh, shooty boys. Oh, just got one. Oh, we got a thing that, like, spits out tons of criticals, which is nice. Could use that pocket factory, though. Oh, we got a lot of stuff, though. Three more damage. Alright. More engineering. Just kind of feels like the direction we're going. Uh, okay. Take a range. Take a slingshot. No, we're good here. Okay. That's good for level 10. At least for what we're rocking right now. Watch out! We use a slow you down weapon now! Also, we'll throw a rock at you! And we are also just rocking a fairly hilarious amount of general damage. If you are if you are weak against hit point damage, we are particularly good at taking care of that.
worm our way back on here over to this tree. Back down here to that tree. There we go. Sheep. And we've just been wrecking it with the hit points. So yeah, we're going to take that. Let's get the luck in the game. So now our cyber ball does 31 damage. That's what we're talking about. I'm gonna yoink that. Get another baby elephant. Rock that. Ooh. We can kind of afford to take it. Do we have anything? Anything? Alright, we'll take that one. There's a chance it'll give us more HP, because we just bled some HP. Yeah, our attack speed is fairly decent. Oh yeah, those guys are gonna get wrecked. There's there's nothing they can do. <clears throat> so 75% of the time when we pick something up, we do like 30 damage to somebody, somewhere. What is that, uh... 33 damage, 75% of the time when we pick something up. Functionally. So this arms dealer guy, as long as you keep him... You know, you got something in the background that stays every wave. Yeah, he's pretty hardcore. You know, you can go you can go the engineering game, you can go the luck game, we're clearly doing a little bit of both. We're actually very obviously relying on the luck game. <clears throat> we can just bleed damage forever now. Not necessary. Let's get the attack speed up. Let's get that ghost axe. Cool, we're full up on our inventory. That'll actually be perfect. Uh Let's get the, that. So that, why not? And let's lock that incendiary turret in place. And move on. What's our... Yeah, we could have, We have 90 lock. Okay, wow, yeah, no wonder they're doing so much damage. And true to its word, uh, Arms Dealer does not let you down on... Sometimes you can just never get enough weapons. Sometimes you can't get weapons that are good. Arms Dealer does not let you down on that. If you're, if you're paying attention, like we weren't paying attention before, and we accidentally screwed up last time we think... Oh, last, last, uh, round, and... But this time, no, man, we're, we're on, we're on the ball. We're here. Still really gotta have that, uh... Have that frickin' pocket factory. We've got, like... Get back here! <laughs> Give us a pocket factory. At least four crates! Yeah, four crates. Pocket factory? Pocket... Uh... Uh... Okay. Uh... Not a pocket factory, but we can still bleed the damage. Okay, let's do it. Um, let's just blast that range. Laser gun, pistol, turret, that thingy, also that thingy. Let's get more attack speed. And we always go, with that guy, you know, it, it pays just in case you want to lock something in place for next time. Oh, dude, this is not going to work. 
It's like, just isn't going to work for you. We have like, so many ways to promise you that. Unlock our Toho! Aha! Oh, jeez. We had to unlock our inner Toho fanatic there. Uh, yes, we can do that. Uh, no, we don't care to do that. Keep us safe. That'll be good next time. Okay, we got a flamethrower right now, and that's gonna absolutely smash everything in our way quite carefully. Uh, so we're not concerned at all this time. We're just gonna go around and catch everything on fire. Still need that fucking pocket factory. It's, it's honestly just a travesty at this point that we have not gotten that pocket factory. Well, with how many trees we planting over here, we're a damn environmentalist is what we are. Uh, yeah, that flamethrower is really coming through for us. Oh. Oh, thank you. That spicy sauce, boy. More engineering. It's about damn time you arrived, scary little sausage. Scared little sausage. Well, I guess we're running all, uh, all cactus today, huh? We don't want to cap our max HP, though. Alright, little, alright, little buddy. Little buddies do 45 damage apiece at this point, and still no pocket factory. Alright, that being said, we... Oh yeah, we should be able to get through this one. Boom! <laughs> Just everywhere. And then we shoot little eyeballs at people. Yeah, dude, oh man. We can see how the Cactus Club game, like, the dedicated Cactus Club game is actually pretty good. We've heard, we've seen people online being like, no, Cactus is the way to go. And we're like, Psh, Cactus Clubs, whatever, man. And now we're like, oh, okay, sure, yeah, Cactus Clubs, right. It's like that, uh, Renegade Shotgun game we were doing session or two ago, where, uh, you know, you're just, you're, you know, they only do, like, two or three damage, but you're filling the air with so much hate. <laughs> There's nothing really anybody can do about it. Oh, yeah, definitely gonna keep going for that luck game. And that engineering game. Would that be viable at this point? We don't think it would be. Let's get even more engineering. 
Yeah, let's get that one. Do we have a... We don't have it. That's fine. Uh... One turret. Now we're talking. Even just one turret is can make the difference. Oh, yeah, dude. We're gonna... Yeah, this is a great way for us to get even more damage. That's why... Okay, well, the arms dealer isn't an easy game. We're gonna admit that much right now. But it's a solid game. No! Oh, dude! Oh, no, we just weren't fast enough. That's okay. No, that that was fun. We might do that again, actually. We'll probably do that again next. If you liked what you saw here today, remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, go on down to our Patreon via that link tree link in the description. Pledge even just $1 a month to help support the cause. Join the mighty, mighty ranks of all the loving people in the credit section at the end of every video and get your name of the game. That's right. Maybe not this game, but definitely a game. Uh, thanks for coming, everybody. Stay safe, stay inside, stay healthy, and of course, remember to help each other. Bye!